Hey everyone, how's it going? Cloud here, and welcome to my guys on the Rum Deal Quest. Now, for this quest, you need the following requirements. So you must complete these quests Priest in Peril, Zoga Flesh Eaters, Big Chompy Bird Hunting, Jungle Potion, and Druidic Ritual. And you also need the following skills, level 40 farming, which can be boosted, level 42 crafting, level 47 prayer, level 50 fishing that can be boosted, and level 42 slayer. That's it for the requirements, now onto the items. You're going to need some uh, slayer gloves, these are recommended for when you fight a fever spider a little bit later on, and you can buy them from any slayer master uh, across Gylenor. You will also need uh, weapon, armor, and food uh, to be able to defeat a level 56 monster who uses melee and a level 70 monster that uses ranged. And the only other item that's recommended is an ecto vial, which you need to have completed Ghost to Hoy in order to obtain, and that just gets you to the quest start point a little bit quicker. But that's only a recommendation, so don't worry too much about that. So, that's it for the requirements and items, now onto the quest starting point. So, we're currently at the Canifist Lodestone, which can be accessed via the Lodestone Network. Now, if you don't have this one unlocked, in the description below I have a guide on unlocking the Lodestone Network, uh, which drastically helps speed up the completion of quests. From here, the quest starting point is just near the uh, dock that's located just next to the Ectofuntus, which is sort of directly northeast of where we are now. So, like I said, if you complete a Ghost Ahoy and you have an Ecto file, you can use that to teleport directly to the Ectofuntus and then it's literally a short walk away. If not, you're going to start heading this direction uh, of where we are now until you get to the quest start point. Okay, so once you're near the Ectofuntus, you should see a guy called Pirate Pete on the dock, which is just north uh, east of where you are. And what you want to do is talk to him, and after listening to his lengthy uh, story, agree to help, but tell him to keep the money he offers you. Pirate Pete will then club you over the head while you're distracted, and you'll see a cutscene before waking up on Brain Death Island. So upon waking, you'll find yourself in a small room, and you want to go talk to Captain Brain Death, and you'll see another cutscene. After that, continue talking to the captain, and he tells you that you need to make some rum to get Captain Donny, the leader of the zombie protesters, drunk. You have to gather the ingredients to make the rum, and the captain gives you a blind weed seed to grow the first ingredient. You want to follow the captain's instructions to make the best rum in the whole of RuneScape. So the first ingredient is blind weed, so you want to step into the large room connected to the one that the captain is in and climb down the ladder in the northwest corner of the building. Head to the southeast corner of the basement to the cupboard, and you want to open the cupboard and search it and take all of the farming equipment except the watering can. You then want to return to the first floor and then leave the building through the southernmost opening and climb down the wooden stairs. You then want to head south through the fence to find a dozen weedy farming patches. The majority of them are trash patches and unusable, but the southeastern patch is still able to be used and is indicated on your minimap with the farming icon. You want to rake away the weeds in the blind weed patch and plant your blind weed seed. You then want to wait for the blind weed to grow, which takes approximately about 5 minutes. You will get the message saying, I wonder how my blind weed is coming along when it is fully grown. When it is fully grown, you want to pick the herb. Now, while around the farming patches, you may be attacked by zombie swabs. If you find a convenient safe spot, such as the other side of a fence, and choose the intimidate zombie option, it will stop them from attacking you, and you only have to scare each swab only once, and the game senses you're intimidating your soul, and you'll see a short cutscene of a kitten playing with a ball of wool. So once you have the blind weed, you want to return to Captain Brain Death in the main building uh, where you spoke to him a few moments ago. So when you're back to the captain and you've spoken to him, he'll tell you to put the blind weed in the intake hopper upstairs. So head to the southeast corner of the building and climb up the ladder. You then want to go to the northwest corner of the floor and next to the pressure barrel and pressure lever, you'll see uh, an option to use the blind weed on the hopper. Once you've done that, you then want to return to Captain Brain Death for the next ingredient. So talk to him again and he'll tell you he needs stagnant water from a nearby volcano. If you don't have a bucket in your inventory, the captain will give you one. You can also pick up the bucket that spawns near him. 
So you want to leave the building via the south wooden stairs again, like we did a few moments ago to go grab the, uh, to go grow the blind weed. Once you pass through the fence, you want to travel northwest, and you'll see a uh, zombie called 50% Luke guarding a small game. You want to open the gate and walk through, and you'll automatically make a diversion for him. You then want to head north, crossing two bridges, and then you'll reach an island. And what you want to do is basically run all the way up the path to reach the tip of the volcano. You should see on the mini map the little uh, sort of icon for water. So if you keep clicking that, your character should automatically run uh, towards the top of the volcano. Once you're at the very top, use a bucket on the stagnant lake to collect a bucket of water. You then want to head back down the man to, uh, mountain and go through the gate once again. So once you've got back to where the uh, gate was and 50% Luke, you want to go back through it and then return to Captain Brain Death with the stagnant water. So once you've spoken to uh, Captain Brain Death, he'll tell you that you now need to use the bucket of water you collected on the hopper. So you then want to climb up the ladder and then use the bucket of water you collected on the hopper um, and then you want to carry on uh, by talking to the captain for the next ingredient. So the next ingredient is sluglings, so if you talk to the captain again he tells you you need to catch five loads of sluglings and gives you a fish bowl and a net which is a fish bowl tangled in a big net. You then want to head south to the farming patch you used earlier and you'll see there's several fishing spots that are close by uh, and then what you need to do is keep using the fish option to catch uh, five sluglings. If you catch any fish other than sluglings uh, you can drop these, um, it's the actual five sluglings themselves that you need. After you've collected five sluglings, it's not necessary to talk to the captain again since he's already told you to pressurise them. So what you need to do is uh, go back to the attic, which is where we used the blind weed and the stagnant water earlier, and you want to put the sluglings in the pressure barrel and pull the pressure lever. After you do this, you'll see the brewing control start to shake violently, and you want to head back down to Captain Brain Death. Talk to the captain and he'll tell you that a spirit has possessed the brewing controls and gives you a wrench and he says that you need to get the wrench blessed and then give the controls a couple of uh, belts with it. So go to the pirate bunkhouse which is just west of the main room to find Davy. Talk with Davy and ask him to bless your wrench and after an amusing discussion with him he'll bless your wrench turning it into a holy wrench. He'll only bless the wrench if you have at least 423 prayer points. The blessing may drain some of your prayer. So go back into the main room and use your holy wrench on the spinning possessed brewing control just south of the captain and a level 56 evil spirit will appear. Uh, you want to kill it, it shouldn't be too difficult to do. Um, it does use melee so if you obviously got the uh, prior level required you can use protect from melee to reduce the damage. Uh, the spirit has no weakness so all combat styles are equally effective. If you are ranging or maging uh, you can trap the evil spirit behind a support beam and the brewing control and not take any damage from it. Once you've successfully killed the spirit, you want to return and speak with the captain again and he tells you to get the last ingredient which is the body of a deceased fever spider. So what you need to do is climb down the ladder southwest of the captain's room and kill a fever spider. Now fever spiders are level 70 and weak to crush attacks, um, but they do hit rather high and can damage you a lot unless you're using your slayer gloves which reduce the uh, damage that fever spiders can inflict upon you. If you've got the slayer gloves, you'll find the fever spiders are very easy to kill uh, and once you've done a bit of damage on them, um, um, they'll die and you'll be able to collect its carcass. Once you have the carcass you want to go back upstairs uh, to the attic where the hopper was again and then use the carcass on the hopper and then return to Captain Brain Death. Thank you. 
So once you've returned to the captain, talk to him again and he'll tell you to watch the glory of brewing at its best and you'll see a shortcut scene and you'll ask is that it? He says yes and tells you to feed the stuff to the pirates and he'll give you another bucket to hold the rum. So you want to turn the output tap which is on the south side of the brewing vat to get a bucket of unsanitary swill. You then want to head outside down the wooden stairs to the farming patches and you should find Captain Donny with the other zombies. You want to talk to him and give him the rum and after some dialogue Donny tells you that Rabid Jack is the name of his boss. You then want to return to Captain Braindeath and speak with him one last time to finish the quest. So after you finish speaking to the captain, it will come up, congratulations, you've completed a rum deal quest. You're awarded two quest points, 7,000 farming, fishing and prayer experience, a holy wrench which gives extra prayer points when drinking a prayer or super restore potion, access to Brain Death Island, a tangled fish bowl and net, two treasure under keys and two arts of ice. So overall, not a difficult quest, just a lot of running around, just obtaining the different ingredients, and the enemies you have to defeat are not exactly difficult either, um, compared to the prequel quest that you've had to have completed anyway. The Holy Wrench is quite a handy item to um, receive after this quest, as like I said, it gives you extra prayer points when using prayer potions, and you can use it in the uh, pocket slot of your equipment, so it doesn't even have to actually take up inventory space uh, if you're doing Slayer or boss killing or anything like that really. Uh, but yeah, I don't think you'll run into any problems following my guide, however if you do get stuck, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll help you out as best I can. If not, thank you for watching, please make sure you like, favourite, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to share with your friends. Cheers guys, bye bye.